The COVID-19 pandemic is a global public health crisis. Failure to contain the virus effectively could prevent the deaths, regress the global economy, and change the major policies. But the virus is the only thing that's spreading uncontrollably. False and misleading information are just as infectious as the virus itself. During the ongoing pandemic, even the silliest misinformation spread rampantly. For example, in Korea last April, a dairy company announced that its yogurt kills coronavirus in the human body. As a result, the yogurt was sold out everywhere and the company's stock price increased by 28%. However, the KCDC concluded that the company's claim is just groundless inf- misinformation. This is just one of many misinformation that plagued Korea during the pandemic. The economic, social, and intellectual damage caused by misinformation is immeasurable. The magnitude of misinformation during the pandemic is truly unprecedented, marking this pandemic as an infodemic. Because a modern problem requires a modern solution, we propose a novel approach to combat this infodemic. We propose a solution we call Alagos, Automated Labeling Alert and Question and Answer Service. Alacuas is an application designed to contain the spread of misinformation across all stages. Initially, Alacuas uses an evaluation system powered by AI to label blatant misinformation and decrease the probability of first contact. Next, an automated alert system dissuades users from sharing misinformation. Finally, a Q&A platform corrects any misinformation that has managed to evade the preceding stages. At the center of this entire process is automation. Since information overload is the greatest this challenge both experts and lay people face, the time-efficient automated approach of Alacos will be effective in fighting the infodemic. First, we will use a neural network to establish an automated system that color codes news articles based on their credibility. Green extensively cites expert interviews, peer-reviewed papers, and professional medical journalists. Yellow cites the general media. Finally, red cites dubious sources and contains contradictory information. While this isn't a surefire way to prevent misinformation, it will surely alleviate the burden of human fact-checkers and prime readers with healthy skepticism. Of course, misinformation cannot only be prevented at the top level. Aliquas tackles sharing of misinformation through active automated alerts. Once again, using a neural network, it automatically identifies articles, infographics, and videos containing information about COVID-19. As soon as the reader presses share, an alert that reminds the reader to double check prior to sharing pops up. Finally, Aliquas implements a Q&A platform where lay people can ask questions and receive answers real time. For frequently asked questions, a chatbot provides answers based on those written by experts and student volunteers. Should this not suffice, it redirects questions to an available expert or student volunteer. Over time, the bot will accumulate enough answers to run the platform for the most part. We evaluated the cost of our class by each necessary technology, artificial intelligence, a chatbot system, and a web-based platform. First, we need AI for an automated classification and alert system. The average cost of developing AI is approximately 1 million Korean won. Thanks to open source algorithms and free big data software, the final price should be slightly lower. The response framework of the chatbot will be based on the answers of experts and student volunteers. Like freelancers, experts will be paid based on their activity, while the 15 most active students volunteers will be awarded 80 million won every year. Finally, the development of the distant Q&A website costs 2.5 million won, while maintenance costs 2.4 million won per year. On top of this, four online seminars per year via YouTube Live would cost 60 million won per year. Overall, for the first year, it would cost 55.5 million won, equivalent to about 49,200 USD. We can also partner up with Kakao, Neighbor, and other Korean web porters. And if this project is successful, it can be extended to other countries since the demand for combating fake news is immense.
To measure the impact of our model and continuously refine its central algorithm, we will gather user feedback from surveys conducted at the end of each quarter. Additionally, in order to evaluate the effect of automatic alerts on the user's perceived credibility and inclination to share, we conducted a survey using two sets of articles. Paired t-test analysis suggests the perceived credibility of false information decreased significantly after the alert was added, while inclination to share decreased for both false and true information. With the alert message, the users could more readily identify false information. Moreover, they became more cautious about sharing information on social media regardless of the authenticity of the information. Therefore, we can conclude that an automatic alert system helps users detect false information and dissuades them from sharing it. An automated alert will greatly contribute in containing the COVID-19 infodemic. But Alacuas has limits. Since Alacuas relies on artificial intelligence, its accuracy depends greatly on the underlying algorithm and data fed. Therefore, we will actively revise Alacuas based on the user feedback. The greatest challenges in reaching out to the rural elderly are low internet availability and difficulty in digital text entry. We will address these issues by providing each elderly community center with a user-friendly, affordable smart speaker. Alacuas's Q&A feature will be grafted onto the smart speaker, allowing the elderly to directly ask questions and receive answers through dictation instead of text. Additionally, we will educate leaders of each community center on operating the speaker and including every member of the community. Such a solution will provide the elderly interactivity and a sense of inclusion. By including even the most tech-deficient population, Alacost will be highly penetrant across all users throughout the country and the entire world. We hope to launch Alacost through an extensive, deliberate timeline. During the first year, we will begin testing by providing Alacost to 100 users. Here, gaining users to promotional ads is crucial because Alacost is dependent largely on user behavior. By the second year, we hope to gain 30,000 additional laypeople and have at least 100 affiliated experts and student volunteers to construct an operational Q&A platform. And by the third year, we will include tech-deficient communities by deploying smart speakers and educating community centers. The following two years are seminal for our long-term goals, AI refinement and global expansion. By the fourth year, we plan to cooperate with the government and major media outlets. Fifth year and onwards, we hope to have obtained around a million users with 500 participating experts in Korea and expand the business to other nations. With the rapid development of technology came not only greater accessibility to information, but also greater susceptibility to misinformation. To solve what we believe is a digital issue at its core, we came up with Alacus. Through Alacus, we hope to combat the spread of misinformation and promote healthy skepticism.